when we talk in this driveway, one light will be on, the other light will be off. I don't know what the f she just went off now. Yeah, that just went off. Yo, this nah. is fucking Yo, don't pay me no mind, just act fuck. normal, son. Look at all garlic, look at all crazy. Why are you worried about it? It's a bunch of niggas watching my channel. Vlog, do it for the vlog. Your boy Blueprint Services. <laughs> the F10 right here. We just changed the fuse. The cigarette lighter wasn't working. So we did that real quick. Got a couple of toys out here. Banshee. 335 in the garage. Nah. Show you how to ride this. Shit, bro. <laughs> Oh, this my new vlog here. Huh? My new vlog share. Say what up to what the up? world. Still no misfire, so let's see. Hopefully Blueprint Auto got this shit together. Hell. So you can I? Yeah, yeah. I was just about to tell you. Oh, yeah. Get the oh, ride yeah. in before I put it up. I'm about to put up. But oh. don't go. Look. Huh? When you make the left. Yeah. Go down. You're going to see the little complex. Yeah. Go in the driveway and go around the complex and come back. Come back through this way? No, I'll come, I'll come back around the same way yeah, I did. Yeah, because once you go in the complex, you could go around and come out another driveway. Okay. So that is the, and that's the second driveway to make the right, right? You're going to see it. Just All make right. that first right in the complex. Where I want somebody to give me some footage on this of me sliding this. It's been a while. Don't. Hey, you break it, you buy it. <laughs> Three grand right. or better. Facts. Oh, you can't even start. You can't even start. You can't get out the shit. You know rusty inside? Watch the rock. Watch the rock. Why you want to do some extra shit? Look, he's stalling up. Machine, bro. That shit got the <laughs> wise co in there. <laughs> Niggas been asking for the BNC content. Here it is. There it is. Alright, so you about to get it on his vlog. Let's see you do a donut. Yo, Full circle. Watch your watch your Yo, watch your watch. That's why I did it over there. Watch your Yo, man. That shit different. This nigga has the bar. It's up. Oh, it's up. I switched it back on. Yo, Jermaine dropped his phone. What's up, world? As you guys wondering, this is not my car. Where's my car? You probably want to know where is it? Well, it's still at the dealership. I'll get into that in the next video. But right now, we got Phil S2K's 335 XI right here. There it goes. Phil S2K. By BMW, they said. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> so, right now, this car has a critical, I mean substantial oil leak coming from the oil pan gasket. I already did the valve cover, I already did the oil filter housing. So let's have a look at the subframe on this car. Right there is a subframe. Finally got it off today. It probably took us a few hours, maybe three or four hours. Um, I used this brace right here to hold the motor up because it's gonna hold the weight of the engine. Okay, you guys will see what's going on. The rack and pinion is dangling. So yes. the, the issue with this now is being that it's an all wheel drive car, 
it has this differential bolted to the oil pan and it has both axles going to the oil pan and also it's an automatic so it has this auxiliary trans cooler that is running along the side of the oil pan as well so we have to remove all of that and we have to remove the power steering even, pump even if in our later days yeah the trucking once we get Alright, so right now we're taking the fan out the way because we want to gain access to the belts and the pulleys. And we also have to disconnect the power steering pump so we could get the oil pan off. So that that black plastic pipe right here is a stock inlet. This feeds air to the front turbo. So it wraps around the motor. It's kind of rectangular instead of round. That's why they say it's a horsepower restriction. So I'm going to unbolt this and then I should be able to slide this pipe out of the way and then I have access to the front of the motor. And here we have the bloody, bloody heart. No, it's not a heart. <laughs> it's just the belt tensioner. Um, a lot of times with these BMWs, especially the M54 platforms, the tensioner could get weak and being that oil filter housing gasket leaks are, are always very common, those two things spell for real trouble. So that's why we're making sure we're taking the necessary precautions with my boy's car and we're gonna replace all of that. Get a good shot in there. Look how much debris is in there. Damn. Alright guys, so I decided to take off the whole entire spindle with the axle because it wasn't coming out without me damaging it and I didn't want to damage it and add extra cost to the repair so I did it that way instead. This is the other axle and spindle right there and you guys see the power steering pump and I got the front diff out. Okay, you guys can see that part of the oil pan where the diff was sitting. So, right now I'm ready to uh, start unbolting the oil pan. I think I got all the bolts up. Alright, I believe I got all the bolts up. Here we go. Everyone, we will be waiting for. Hold up. Hold up. The oil pump. Hey, hey, hey. Well. Wow. Would you look at that? Phil got problems. I want to point you guys' attention right over here. This is the oil pickup for the, the oil pump. You see this material right here? This is actually serpentine belt. That means the belt lodges itself through the crank seal. Look, right here, look, more belt. And now we're gonna have to change the crank seal in the front and probably get this guy a new pickup. Shit. What's up world? 2008 BMW 335XI and here in my hand is the oil pan. I got, I wanna show you guys something. So, if you look carefully, it has this tunnel for the drive shaft because XI means that this car is equipped with all wheel drive system. BMW, mounts the front diff right on the oil pan there and um his oil pan was leaking a lot and we noticed the oil after we fixed the oil filter housing we fixed the valve cover gasket and we still had oil leaks we noticed there was a lot of shredded belt material now that i actually have the oil pan off i discovered something very alarming there's actually serpentine belt lodged in the pickup tube 
for the oil pump. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a closer look. If you look right about here, this is actually serpentine belt hanging from the pickup tube inside the oil pan. And how did the serpentine belt get inside the motor? Well, it lodged itself through the front crank seal. I have another piece of belt hanging right out here. This man is lucky that it didn't get lodged in the timing chain and jumped his timing because the motor actually runs pretty well. So now we need a new front crank seal. Look, it's like, I feel it. It's like, a, oh my God, look at that. I'm just gonna let him re replace this oil pickup screen. We don't want this stuff to get um, thrown around the motor. I'm gonna change this whole tube right here. It did its job and stopped the stop the thing from damaging the oil pump look at this holy fucking cow wow bro this is ridiculous oh man it's all in here guys look at that I'm gonna try to get it all out I feel another piece in there Hey, come on. Almost had it. It's like mad slippery. So like a little stuck, I guess. There we go. Another piece. We gotta clean all this out. There's no way we putting this car back together without cleaning all this out of here. Yeah, this thing is like crystallized. I'm pretty sure it's the original, never been changed. This is what we were supposed to replace, but now we have other things to replace as well.